How's it going, everybody? Rybred here today, and we're going to be continuing our, actually, can starting our Marlins uh, franchise mode. Go, guys, go ahead and let me know down in the comments section if you want this series to continue, those of you that watch it. Uh, do you want me to continue now as the Marlins uh, GM? Because I know I didn't uh, uh, get much input from you guys on who I should pick because I couldn't really stop the video there, but... um. Let me know who you guys, uh, what you guys think. Should we continue uh, building the Marlins? Because they do need a decent real rebuild. They've got two star players here. One's up on a contract, but Stanton and Ozuna. Uh, D. Gordon's actually pretty good. If you look at his stats here, he get, usually gets on base decently well. Uh, he's been dropping off just a little bit, though. So we hope to see him grow a little bit more. But <clears throat> as far as this team is concerned, there's lots of, there's like a potential player here. Uh, from Cuba, he looks like he's going to be really good. He's a really, really good power hitter. Uh, and there's some, there's definitely a lot of holes all over the place. But if you guys can see this budget, we have 4.27 million per week, and that's before we sign uh, any of our players. But so I'm going to go through the offseason as the Marlins here. Uh, but if you guys just want to stop watching the video now and let me know that this isn't worth it, go ahead and do that now. Uh, but for, for those of you that want to see it, please let me know by leaving a like on the video and a comment down in the comments section uh, that I should con continue doing this. So we'll take a quick look at the roster now that we're, we're the GM here. Uh, we'll look at starting pitching. There's apparently a lot of... Lot to, wow, there's a lot to be desired here as far as starting pitching. We may need to sign somebody big or make some trades, but I don't know what kind of trade... Uh, we what kind of trade assets we have. I mean, this uh, Braxton Garrett seems to be a really good pitcher, growing 72, a potential pitcher at 22, uh, B potential, Eddie Villarreal, uh, 73, not too bad here from the Dominican Republic, but there's a lot of need everywhere as is starting pitching. Relief pitching isn't the worst thing I've ever seen, but obviously it could be better. Closing pitcher is not bad at all. Uh, JT Real Muto is a serviceable catcher for this team right now. Uh, this first baseman, I'm hoping he grows a lot because, damn, this guy looks freaking good, guys. Uh, D. Gordon's there at second base. We have Anthony Rendon as our third baseman. Uh, so he's actually not too bad of a third baseman. We can hang on to him. Uh, shortstops, we don't really... We have a lot of shortstops, but we got to sign some of them. Uh, left fielders, we got to sign Ozuna because he's one of the best guys on this team. Center fielders, we could use a center fielder. And right fielder, geez, uh, Stanton, he's fantastic. Uh, guys, I might have gotten myself in a little bit too deep here, but you know, we're going to battle through it this offseason, see how this team comes out, and then you guys can maybe make a decision at the end of the video if you are still watching. So, let's go ahead here and do what I normally do and go by position, signing players. Oh, look, they already signed some players for us. Uh, signing some players uh, that would be in the minor leagues anyway. So, this guy, you'll probably, oh my god, he wants an actual contract. Jesus. Bro, you're 62 at 31. I'm not giving you an actual contract. This is the kind of guy we want to keep. There we go. Uh, what about this guy right here? Uh, does this guy want a minor league? Yes, he wants a minor league deal. So, uh, we'll, we'll, oh wow, these guys want a lot of money and they're not good. I know we have a lot of money, but geez, uh, you guys aren't worth that kind of money. Let's go. This guy, yep. Oh, perfect. That's the kind of player I want to see. Destin Hood. He's not a bad left fielder whatsoever. Uh, maybe somebody you could use as trade bait or use use uh, him at center field because we don't really have a center fielder that's much better. Plus, it would get him some playing time as he is growing and he's he's 29, so he might not grow too much more. But Jesus, goddamn, we got so many uh, shortstops here. I'm gonna let some of these guys go and not resign them. Uh, JT Riddle can come back. Uh, Peter Mooney, there we go. That's fine. Uh, I hope the Yankees don't screw up what I built there. Uh, I'd rather win the, the World Series with the team that I'm general managing right now, but uh, I would not. I, I wouldn't mind uh, seeing the Yankees get there, but I'd still like to beat them as kind of like a just show them that I'm I'm a, I'm a good GM. They just should have let me build up my vision. Of course, now I know that I sh probably should have turned off coach firing, but I thought it'd be fun to have a hot seat. You know. Um, what are you gonna do though? Uh, you can't you can't win them all. Uh, they did want me to make the playoffs. Uh, and, and win the division, I didn't do either, so, I mean, I had, I had a very, very, uh, my vision was clear, and it was almost to fruition, we had the pitching, uh, and the batting was almost there, we almost found everybody at every position we needed, and the pitching just had to grow ever so slightly, and we would have been fine, uh, but, you know, I'm gonna stop boring you guys, re-signing people, I'll go ahead and do all the re-signing, and then I will bring you back in when I'm done. Alright guys, so I just went ahead and signed a whole bunch of players, I actually did a lot of overhauling, uh, we did, uh, Ozuna did not accept our offer yet, so he's actually a free agent right now. Uh, but as far as right fielders, uh, I gotta release this guy. Uh, this is what it's looking like. I'll just do a quick run through. Uh, not a lot of, uh, players 
here that look too great, but um, oh, maybe I should sign one of these guys. Who who knows? But uh, we still do have uh, 2.81 million available. Uh, apparently, we need to sign a, quite a few people still, so I got to go ahead and do that. But let's go ahead and check out who is a free agent. And whoa, okay, there's lots of big names on the free agent market, and we could make a splash with the Marlins as. Geez, we could go ahead and get Xander Bogarts, because if you look at our shortstops, we only have Zach Cozart, and I believe if I got rid of him, I would get a decent amount of uh, cap space back, too, but, uh, or not cap space, I guess it's budget, cash flow-ish kind of stuff, but yeah, as you can see here, we're offering Ozuna $70 million for five years, he still doesn't want it, uh, so you know what, I'm not going to go ahead and sign all these top players here, I am going to make Xander Bogarts an offer here, I'd like to give him like a 10-year contract uh, at whatever I can. Give him a, a good chunk of money here because I think he he's definitely a player that would come in and we could win right away with. I'll go ahead and offer him $250 million, which is just about, uh, uh, wow, that's a shit ton of money. Uh, that's, almost, that's almost a million per week, but uh, we can do it. We'd still have 1.86 afterwards. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and offer that to Xander Bogarts. Uh, then let's, as far as starting pitching here, we can go ahead and sign somebody who's maybe not too expensive but a decent pitcher, and there's no such thing available. So, like, a guy, maybe a guy like Sonny Gray uh, would be a guy that I could be interested in. Uh, I don't want him for too long. If I gave him a player option, he'd be happy. Uh, we are the, ooh, we are the, uh, we are the top offer. Let's go ahead. Yeah, let's actually undercut him just a little bit. I like the fact that you can see that. He wants $14.9 million a year, so let's go ahead and give him that. That would only be 500, that'd be half a million. So that's basically 1.5 million off our 2.5 million or 2.8 million that we have. So that'd leave us 1.3. If Ozuna does decide with us to sign with us, that would be another 300,000 off the book. So if I'm doing that off the top of my head, I think that's uh, so we got 1.5 million in offers. All right, let's just check it out here. Uh, so that, oh, shit, I forgot what it was. Um, 1 million, 500,000, and 300,000 is 1.8 million, which would leave us 1 million in cap space. Uh, cap space. Oh, so let's go ahead and sign some lower level guys here. <clears throat> some guys that maybe don't want a ton of money uh, that we could get for depth as far as the uh, system is concerned. So he only wants five million for two years. He's a depth player. That would be that would be ninety five thousand per week. I can swing that. Uh, let's go ahead here and maybe uh, these guys with deep potential could be good minor league options. They're not going to change the face of the the future of the franchise, but. Uh, they are at least something in the system that we can use because we don't have a... I cut a lot of players because I didn't think they were worth having on this team, but now that I look at it, maybe those guys would have been nice to have in the system as well. Okay, like David Phelps here is a guy we had, I believe. I cut him. Let's go uh, Fernando Abad here. Not a ton of money he wants, uh, so we can go ahead and offer that to him. I don't want him for that many years. Let's give him one year. Uh, here is uh, Jerry Blevins. No, thank you. Uh, he's pretty expensive there. <clears throat> Uh, Tony Wilhelm, Will, Will Helmsman, I don't even know how you say that, oh, wait, there we go, Clayton Green, let's give him, yeah, there we go, he's going to accept our offer because I just gave him uh, exactly what he wanted, there we go, perfect, so these younger guys are, we might have to just stick in the minors and they might not be the great, it might not be the greatest minor league team ever, but it'll at least be something, as far as catchers are concerned, uh, we don't really need one, we have JT Realmoto at a 76, I could use a backup catcher though, a decent backup catcher who's got decent stats, uh, you know what, uh, Nick Hunley here, I wonder how much he wants, uh, two years at five million, yeah, that's fine, I can do that, <clears throat> and considering nobody else wants him, we're gonna go ahead and offer him, I don't know how much, uh, oh wow, Matt Carpenter at first base, but we got that young first base in Adrian Sosa as an option, <clears throat> second base would be great, uh, but we do have D Gordon at second base, so I don't want to go ahead out and sign anybody with a real big name, um, oh, I can go ahead and sign this B potential, uh, prospect though he's only 3,000 per week uh Justin Turner at third base would be nice we also do have Anthony Rendon so they do have some decent players all over the place but uh I'd still like to see some uh better players throughout this roster so let's go ahead and keep on going oh look at Jose Reyes is there as well uh we need we don't really need short stops uh we also just offered Xander Bogarts in a contract so if he accepts our contract uh I wouldn't mind it. Uh, there's other options out here besides Ozuna, but they're nowhere near as good as far as left field, and we do need help in the outfield to help out um, uh, <clears throat> uh, Giancarlo Stanton. 
I don't think Brian Goodwin accepted our offer. Uh, where is he? No, he's not out here. Maybe. Oh, he might, must have accepted our offer. But uh, there's a guy like Adam Eaton here. He's 31. He's not. He's actually really good at contact. Very good at fielding. Uh, how much does he want? Five years. Let's go ahead and give him three years. He's 31, so he's going to be dropping off relatively soon anyway. So let's go ahead and offer him a contract there. Is there anybody in the system, or not in the system, but as far as potential players throughout the free agency? Right field, we don't really need a right fielder. We can always go ahead and get this guy. He's 19 anyway, so he could see some growth. Um, but uh, that's about it. We've made a lot of offers, so let's go ahead and advance a day and see who signs with us. Ozuna has accepted our offer. Yes, uh... Fair, that's fine, that's fine. <clears throat> and these are all the yo the younger guys that we offered. That's fine there as well. Uh, so we still have 2.3 million, so I was about right in my calculations there, in my head. Uh, as far as offers, we uh, are the top offer on all of these guys. We could even uh, maybe yeah j uh, drop his just a little bit because nobody else has offered him a contract. So let's go ahead and give him that as a contract. And I, I think this team would be a decent team if we could get some of these guys that we offered contracts there. So... Actually, we do need some starting pitching help, so maybe now we go ahead and acquire a guy like Michael Waka. I mean, he's 28, 86. I know he's not as good as Garrett Cole, but everyone's going to be fighting for Garrett Cole. Uh, let's go ahead and give Michael Waka a contract here, see if we can... Uh, oh, we're, oh, he still doesn't. He still wants them over us, so we could. We, I wouldn't mind giving him eight years. He'd be, make him 36. Oh, it's not quite enough. Let's go ahead. Eight years with a player option, why not? And there we go, we are the top offer on him as well. So let's go ahead and simulate a day. Oh, nobody accepted any offers. No big, big uh, guys. Oh, Xander Bogarts is now, we are now being outbid by the St. Louis Cardinals for Xander Bogarts, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. Let's offer him seven years. There we go. Actually, we might need to jack it up quite a bit. Seven years, I'd give him 10 years at 240. Uh, because that's that's less than we wanted. That's $10 million less than we originally thought he would cost, and that also puts us ahead. Oh, we did offer Sonny Gray a contract. I forgot we offered Sonny Gray a contract uh, just because he was relatively cheaper. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go for Michael Waka over Sonny Gray because Sonny Gray is 30. I know he's got that A potential, but Waka's younger uh, by two years and could still grow. And the rest of these guys, we are the number one offer there. Xander Bogarts has accepted our offer, boys. So once again, we come in and make a splash in free agency. And what a way to make a splash with a brand new team. Xander Bogarts is now on the team and the Miami Marlins. Uh, let's see. Check out uh, uh, contract offers. Yep. Uh, Waka is still the number one. Uh, we're still number one on Waka, but that's huge. We still have $1.59 million. Uh, Francisco Liriano has accepted our offer. Awesome. Uh, Sonny Gray has accepted the Angels offer. I kind of figured that one was coming. Uh, we were no longer the top <coughs> contract anyway. Uh, we are still Michael Walker's number one option as far as contract is concerned. We still have $1.49 million anyway. Hopefully these guys do re-sign, uh, or not re-sign, but just do sign with us. Because that, that could make us actually a decent team right away. Uh, our pitching rotation doesn't look too good. But if we get a guy like Michael Walker in there, uh, Francisco Liriano, I believe he's, yeah, we, we just brought him in as a starting pitcher, I think. Uh, so like a guy like Braxton Garrett here. Oh, this 22-year-old, uh, he's he's not very good. He went 4-10 and 10 this season, but, I mean, then again, this team was absolute garbage. Uh, so, actually, I just, for, I just realized that we're going to have to stop looking for players who want to be in, um, in New York, but we can still scout players from the East, so we do uh, get to keep that going. So, as again, let's just double-check this. Michael Waka, yep, all these guys, we are still the number one offer. Please, guys, accept our Garrett Cole went to the Phillies. All right, that's fine. Are we still the number one offer? We are still the number one offer, but that doesn't mean we're going to get those guys. Uh, let's just see who else is still available. Justin Turner is still available. He's going to drop like a stone, though, I guarantee it. Uh, Jeff Samarja, yep, that's, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at all these guys. They're pre pretty old. Even a guy like Billy Hamilton, I know he's got speed, but he, he's not a very good hitter. I've seen how he simulates. I like him in real life. He actually causes a bit of problems on the base, base path in real life, but uh, not so much in this game. They don't really utilize his stealing ability as much as they should. Uh, starting pitchers that could come in and make a difference for this team. I mean, Homer Bailey here is an option. If we don't uh, get Michael Waka, he's still an option even if we do get him because he's only 33. He probably isn't going to be dropping off too much at the age of 33, but let's go ahead and advance uh, one more day. Michael Waka has accepted our offer. There we go. Uh, and then the 40-man roster must be set by today, so that's fine. Uh, that We have $1.05 million. 
in cap space. And then these guys, I forgot how much we offered them, but uh, we are the only offer on these guys. So that's 200,000, that is 95,000, and this is 41,000. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, we don't want that. 1.1 million, 1 million, yeah, that's fine. So we still do have a decent amount of uh, room, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, throw a contract out there for Homer Bailey. How much does he want? 3.7, he is 33, so we'll sign him for one year. We'll give him 4 million, why not? It's only one point, or it's only under, it's only 0.1 million anyway, so let's go ahead and give him that. Hopefully we don't run into any kind of cash flow issues here in Miami, because I know we were in, in New York, but we I still left the cash flow on, and... Uh, as far as the 40-man roster, <clears throat> um, I don't think there's really anybody that's not on the 40-man that I want to keep. I mean, everybody on the 40-man is probably... Oh, wait. Yeah, the 40-man roster here. I'm just going to go ahead through, guys, real quick and double-check who should be what, like uh, Villarreal. Oh, oh, shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, sort. Uh, yep, he's on the 40-man. Oh, this guy I want to put on the 40-man just because... Uh, he want, I want to put him on the 40-man because these are some players that people would use. Uh, he's on the 40-man as well. These guys don't need to be on the 40-man. This guy, oh yeah, this guy I want on the 40-man. Just because, you know, I'm putting them on the 40-man so they don't get stolen from us because we don't really want our future stolen right out from underneath us because there's there's a pretty it's a pretty bleak future for the Miami Marlins, but I'm here to change that. Uh, 24, 47, no, nobody's going to take him, and there we go. So that's all the guys that I wanted to put on the 40-man. I know it's not 40 men, but... uh. That's all the guys I want to keep, and I can worry about the 40-man at some other point. So Matt Carpenter went to the Washington Nationals. Billy Hamilton goes to the San Francisco Giants, and we'll keep simulating. Homer Bailey has accepted our offer. So there we go. We're beefing up that starting pitching just a little bit. I'll have to do this uh, at the beginning of next video, guys, when we um, uh, set all the lineups and everything. Who's, who's still holding out on us? Uh, Eaton, Nick Hunt, Heaton, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want Eaton, and then uh, these guys are still holding out. Hunley. Uh, he'd be a nice backup catcher. He's not going to be a starting catcher, and he's going to drop anyway, so I'm not too worried. Uh, that's fine. Arbitration. <clears throat> Nick Hunley has accepted our offer. Uh, yeah, okay, so we can no longer afford Adam Eaton's contract, which is fine. We only have 805000 in cash flow space anyway, so we can keep on going here like offers. Let's see, Fernando Abad, we can probably uh, sign him, but after that, I don't, wait, why can't we sign Adam Eaton? I don't know uh, if... Uh, geez, that's weird, because he's only, he's 81, I mean, I guess, uh, we, do we have a, do we still have a, what's his face, oh, our left fielder here, well, let me go ahead and just, I'll just check it out in the manager roster, let's go to the outfield here, so we have Sh uh, Stanton at right field, and then we can put Dust, uh, Destin Hood in at center field, because I believe he can play center field, he's a pretty good fielder too, so we'll play Hood at center field, and Ozuna at left field, because we got Ozuna back, but let's go ahead, actually, you know, I might uh, just throw another offer out there for uh, Adam Eaton, 805,000, uh, yeah, we, we have a, yeah, we got a decent amount of cap space, that would only give us, leave us with 573,000 available, so we'll go ahead and keep simulating, Adam Eaton, uh, yes, I would like to stop simulating. He's no longer offered in us. What is? Oh, did he just re outright reject us? Oh, yeah, everyone's going after Eaton because he's the he's the best available guy out there. So you know what? I'm not going to get in the bidding war over Adam Eaton because we're going to play Destin Hood. That's my plan. Uh, and is no longer interested. Yes, a bod. Apparently, people want to go after a bod in the relief pitching. Uh, let's go out to off. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't have any offers. He just he just outright doesn't want to come play for us anymore. Uh, I don't even see him. He he was a relief pitcher, right? Oh well, I guess we'll just have to go for a little bit of an older guy here. Oh no, 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 no. We're just we're just gonna have to suffer through for this year. We'll keep building and keep growing, see how it goes. Let's keep simulating here. <clears throat> that's fine. Yep, Justin Turner goes to the New York Mets. So that's in our division now, guys. You gotta readjust. We're in the NL East, uh, and no longer the AL East. And that means our pitchers do hit, so we can't have a designated hitter as well. So Carlos Gomez goes to the Orioles in the AL East. That used that would have bothered me before, but uh oh look, we got a Okay, so the, apparently the draft, we did, wait, there was absolutely no draft. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and simulate through the end of December here. Uh, Kevin, Ken Giles goes to the Seattle Mariners in the American League. Devin Mezzarocco goes to the Red Sox. Uh, thank God the Red Sox didn't get um, whoever that star starting pitcher was. <clears throat> and that should be the offseason, boys. So our first offseason, oh, wait, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, uh, yes, I'll stop simulating. I gotta go hire a coach. Jeez, they didn't hire a coach? They didn't hire us a hitting coach? Jeez, come on. I'll, uh, 
I'll hire this guy. Why not? Uh, Garrett Cottrell. Why not? Uh, there we go. Um, what else do we need to hire here? Uh, and a farm director. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we need. We want A. There we go. He's an A. He's pretty low on there. Alrighty then. So um, there it is. Go ahead and simulate. Cottrell has accepted and has accepted. So perfect. If you wait, you don't actually have to get into a bidding war. And there we go. So we are now in spring training. Uh, just to re-update re you guys on how the roster looks. Giancarlo Stanton's a 94. D. Gordon's a 90. Xander Bogarts is an 88. But I he's a 91. He's just upset because he's on the bench. I'll have to change that uh, at some other time. But just an update on the guys here. Um, Marcelo Zuna, Anthony Rendon, Michael Waka. So I came in and I overhauled this team, and it's looking a lot better than when I got here. Uh, Baraclo is actually actually playing up to an 82. He's got D potential, though, which is weird. So Adrian Sosa, guys, grew to an 82 overall, which is awesome to see that, uh, especially as a 20-year-old. So he is going to be fantastic. He's going to be somebody we want to build around. You know what? I think I want to keep this uh, series going. I, th I think we can have a lot of fun here uh, just playing as the Marlins. It's an interesting situation to come into a team a couple years down the road to see what somebody else has done with the team. So as far as starting pitching, it could be better, but it could also be worse. I think I want to put Braxton Garrett in over uh, Vizcano. And I can put Vizcano in, in the, as the long relief. And I think I might want to use oh a guy like uh, Jarlin Garcia here. Uh, as our as a, the other long reliever. As far as relief pitchers, uh, these these are the guys that are going to be in. Uh, I can play John Cameron up in the majors from Jamaica over uh, Gonzalez here, Severino Gonzalez, because uh, J uh, John Cameron could actually grow his potential, could grow for us. And then our closer is obviously AJ Ramos here, pretty good closer. Uh, catcher JT Realmuto followed by Nick Hunley. First base we have Adrian Sosa the. Uh, the next legend, oh my god, he's going to be so good. Age 20, I just really hope I don't screw it up. Uh, D. Gordon, he's 31, but he's 90 overall. He looks very, very good. Uh, Anthony Rendon as our third baseman, followed by Eduardo Nunez. Uh, let's see, Xander Bogarts now is our shortstop, which means a guy like Zach Kozart could be traded away for prospects. Uh, and I know you guys always love to tell me that I should trade for prospects, so I'm probably going to end up trading a guy like Zach Kozart, who's got $3.6 in salary just because I didn't want to be without a shortstop, uh, for some prospects because he's 34, he's 77. He's nothing that we really need on this team. Besides, i got Pat Vileka who can basically do what he can do. Out in left field, out in left field, excuse me, we have Marcelo Zuna, and we'll probably be playing Destin Hood uh, at center field, just because he's a little bit better than Brian Goodwin. I know Brian Goodwin is a rookie, uh, but Destin Hood, uh, they're the same age, and Destin Hood is a little bit better anyway. Oh, I did not mean to press B, but you guys know who's out there in right field: the slugger Giancarlo Stanton at a 94, and look at those power ratings, boys, and a contact versus lefties at 99, discipline up at 97. Uh, hopefully we can get this guy some help because I think he's going to do fantastic for us this year, especially if we can get him some help. So there it is, guys. That's the end of our first day in the office. Well, our first video, anyway, with the Miami Marlins. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one.